previously on Hell's Kitchen. I'm blue now, man. Roshni joins the blue team. Welcome to Team Blue. And left behind oh. a splintered red team. Nobody's talking to each other. Nobody's communicating. It's going to start getting dirty. We all hate each other. In the Gourmet Mexican Challenge, You'll be turning Mexican classics into fine dining food. Patrick made an executive decision. Whose dish are you dropping? Guys, I'm going with Royce. Yeah. Choosing Royce's taco dish over Brian's. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. A decision. The one thing that doesn't attract me is the greasiness of the tortilla. The whole team came to regret. I'm gonna have to go with the red team on this one. Congratulations, red team. And they won their fourth challenge out of the last five, causing the blue team to question Patrick's leadership. I'm asking you questions, you just walk away from me. If you're gonna take the fucking lead, Lead. That's like the 10th time. It's like I've every, got everybody asking like questions. Every I'm trying to get the right. I get that. At dinner service, Dana and Kimmy were at each other's throats. I'm ready to kill this bitch. Come hit me if you want. Get off my station. Kimmy, like, for a big girl, is a big baby. Barbie had trouble communicating. You just said you were ready. The muscles are overcooked, and she doesn't give a fuck. And Danielle's confidence. Yo, my pork is like the bomb. Was severely misplaced. All of you. Yes, chef. Stop. Raw pork. I felt really bad for the pig. Go. Oh. The pig didn't do it. It was Danielle. On the blue team, Guy started the team off on the wrong foot. Come here. Touch that. Get it back in the oven. From there, they made... What are you doing, young man? Mistake. Talk to me, Guy. After mistake. Thank you so much, Chef Patrick, for a great sabotage. Forcing Chef Ramsay... Piss off. ...to get rid of the weak links. Get out. Chef Ramsay is on, like, a kicking out spree tonight. Get out. Piss off. Get out. Get out of it. I don't care. Both teams lose. Let's get that right. Blue team nominated. Pat. And. Guys. The red team nominated. Danny Chef. And. Me Chef. But Barbie made a convincing argument. I don't feel like I deserve to be here. Do you know what? You're right. Back in line. Find out right now if the blue team loses their self-appointed leader, Patrick, or catering chef, Guy. Or will it be Dana and Christina's close ally, Danielle? Find out who will lose their chance to become head chef at Gordon Ramsay Steak at Paris, Las Vegas. Now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Tonight, both teams have had to nominate two members for elimination. Back in line. But Barbie has been granted a reprieve. OK. My decision is? Patrick. Back in line. Thank you, chef. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Danielle. Time to go. Give me your jacket, please. Thank you. Good night. Good night. I'm honestly, I'm pissed off. I don't deserve to go home. Kimmy and Barbie, they're sneaky. They're after themselves. They're fake. I would love to see Dana win. She's a strong cook, and I hope that she makes it to the end. What's wrong, Dana? I'm upset, Chef. You're upset? Nowhere near as much as I am. Tonight's performance was embarrassing. I've got one question for you all. Are you ready to fight back? Yes, yes Chef! I can't hear you. Yes, Chef! I still can't hear you. Yes, Chef! Sweet dreams. Now, fuck off. Danielle was my best friend here, and she's gone. I feel devastated right now. Chef Ramsay keeps calling me out, asking me am I beaten. 
Am I tired? I'm not beaten or tired. I'm geared up, I'm ready, I'm amped, and I'm here to win it. I just feel like now, like, I have you, and like, I have nobody else. I'm right here, girl, I'm not going anywhere. You know the three of them are fucking sticking together. They're not putting each other up there for shit. I know that the Kimmy, Tiffany, Robin alliance is definitely gonna target me next. So they're trying to pick us off one by one. So they're not gonna break us. I don't wanna see it get personal. I hope for their own well-being that I don't get pushed to that point because I think it's gonna get real ugly. Now it's not just a fucking competition. It's a competition and it's a fucking game. Yeah. I feel like I have a target on my back, so Kimmy and Tiffany, it's on, bitches. From here on out, it is on. I mean, there's no more playing nice. Dana thinks she's gonna win. Uh, I'm sorry that Dana feels threatened by me, but I'm not going anywhere, so she can kiss my ass. Dana and Christina are gonna blame us for putting up Danielle. We're all kinds of divided right now. Christina and Dana, they're all sad and shit. Time to pluck them bitches out. I already got one out. Now I got two more to go. For crying after Danielle left, that just shows weakness. This is a competition, and if you can't handle it, then get the fuck out. While the red team is split up into two clear alliances, one member of the blue team, you're our leader, and I felt that you don't, has selected a scapegoat. I don't feel that Patrick's really leading. There should be things popping in your head quicker. And they're not, he's an old man, he needs to go home. I'm gonna say something, being that in the past couple days, even with the day of prep, you know, and, and, and the way we should get it done. Royce just talks. I'll put my name up there if you guys want a new leader. He talks a lot. If, if that's what you feel, then that's fine. If not, then that's fine too. I don't see him as a leader. He talks, I'm like this, I'm like that, I'm like this, I'm like that, 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 that. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, uh. Blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up. This team has gotten better and stronger because of my leadership. You have done certain things very well, but I feel at certain times, you've just taken a left and everybody's taking a right. You know what, I don't sit around and play armchair quarterback on somebody's decisions. Hey, Royce, fuck you. I don't trust him. I don't think anybody trusts him. He's gonna sell us all out soon enough. Every day when you said you were a fucking leader, have I not pushed as hard as I fucking can? Shut up, dude. Shut up. I look at Patrick, and he's about to go crazy. When you told me you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this for garnish, and I still had fish to go, Royce. and I still set up the fucking fish station. It's called a fucking mistake. Nobody wants him to lead the team, that's the thing. Nobody has faith in Royce whatsoever. Everybody, including myself, at one point in service, has gotten frazzled over bullshit, and that's the realization of it. Every one of us needs to wake up. Man up, get over it, let's move on. Man, we need to win tomorrow. I ain't shoveling shit, chasing fucking sheep and digging up trees no more. I just ain't fucking doing it. We need to dial it down a notch and just take a breather. Royce to me just put on a show. I don't think he's ready to be the leader right now. We all got attitude problems. We are not going to win a challenge if we do not act as one. Royce was unable to talk his way into the leadership of the blue team. But with a new day, he hopes he'll be able to talk his way into something else. Talk to me, girl. I like one of your ears. You don't? Know, you sure? <laughs> you want to take another shower and use me as a loofah, you could. That's why he's not a leader. He's too mature. Yo, you better. Royce, I mean, seriously, let's try to focus. Otherwise, we're going to fucking fail. Yes, Chef. Let's go, guys. Right now, he wants us down in the kitchen right now. Tiffany, come on. I definitely think that we can put whatever conflicts aside to focus on the challenge. We've done that so far. While there is dissension on both teams, Bye, guys. the chefs know they must put it aside and stay focused on what Chef Ramsay has in store for them. Right, good morning. Morning, morning Chef. chef. When I began as a young chef in Paris, I could remember thinking that French food was it. There was nothing better. I don't know what this is going to be about, but I'm assuming it has something to do with classical French technique. It's like one of the things I do best. I honestly thought the food that I was learning and serving would never change. I don't know what's happening. What is this? But you know that food evolves and that it changes like fashion, right? What are we doing? Let's take a look at a few examples of trends in the food business. Let me show you what I mean. In the 1950s, housewives all across America were serving these crazy colorful dishes. <laughs> is that you shaking or was it the jello? Oh, the jello's supposed to the shake. The jello is shaking. <laughs> Amazing. I don't know what the fuck's happening. You know, this beautiful girl walks out in a sleek, nice dress and she's carrying a jello mold and things are wiggling. And believe me, it wasn't just the jello. You got a hot chick or a jello mold. You got problems if you're looking at the jello mold. 
Also in the 50s, the TV dinner. Clearly ideal for watching in front of the telly, but let's be honest, it tasted of crap, right? Maybe we're gonna have to like recreate a TV dinner and make it fine dining. I'm just so confused. Time for our next model. There was a type of food that became highly fashionable in the 1970s, the fondue. We're gonna be reinterpreting fondue. I hate fondue. I've never liked fondue. I don't get fondue. You gotta melt some kind of sauce that people dip shit in. I mean, it spread like wildfire. Every restaurant, everywhere in the country, were putting fondues on their menu. It was trendy, it was hip, and it was something to share. I have no idea what the challenge is gonna be, but I am happy to see these models. Hopefully, they wanna to talk to us and, and cuddle. And then, in the 90s, Asian fusion was born. The diners were expanding their taste buds. Dishes like this, teriyaki tuna, wasabi mashed potatoes, and it became a real trend that fusion was here to stay. Asian fusion doesn't really excite me much, but hot ladies definitely do. Is it amazing when you just look at those three dishes, how the food evolved? Ladies, thank you so much for coming and giving us a little insight. Good to see you. So we're going to have to make a dish for each era, and I'm just like, we're so fucked. Now, again, there are trends in food just like there are in fashion. So, for the first time ever, it's fashion night in Hell's Kitchen. Wow. Now, listen carefully. You will be creating a tasting menu for three fashion designers, and they'll be judging your next challenge. I don't know shit about fashion. My wife dresses me. I, I, I think I look pretty good. Let's meet our designers. These clothes are often seen on the pages of Vogue and Glamour. Please welcome David Meister. <laughs> Next, we have a swimwear designer, regularly featured in Sports Illustrated, Amanda Shea. <laughs> and finally, Ina Sultani. Her clothes are worn by celebrities like Eva Longoria and Kristen Stewart. Clemenza, you can put your tongue back in now. Honestly, like an antelope. <laughs> OK, listen carefully. Each team will produce one stunning appetizer and two entrees. One entree is seafood, and another one is poultry. Got it? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. David, in terms of a dish, what do you look for? I'm looking for something that's healthy, favorite protein. I love swordfish. I like spicy food, so maybe something with a little bit of spice as well. Ina. My whole collection is inspired by Mediterranean, so I'm looking for something very colorful, mm. heavy on seasoning. Being that I come from Miami, I've seen all this fashion stuff. I know what these people want, flavor. Hi, Amanda. I can't have anything unhealthy or fatty presented to my guests. Mm -hmm. Guys, like, we get it. You don't like to eat ever, and uh, all you care about is your image. Everybody ready? Yes, yes chef. Because your 30 minutes starts now. Let's go. Yes. Both teams must come up with a three-course tasting menu consisting of an appetizer, one poultry entree, and one seafood entree, fit for fashionistas and their guests. I think the appetizer should be a uh, lobster medallion. Yes. He said he likes soy fish. He likes soy yeah, fish, so that soy should be a main. OK, let's go, Black. The winning dishes will be on the menu at the first ever Hell's Kitchen Fashion Night. You guys are on the swordfish, right? right? So I'm going to work I'll, with Rossi. I'm thinking like shiitake mushrooms, okay. all marinated, but in a salad form, a little warm, but not cooked. And then the lobster, lobster medallion kind yes. of on top of the exactly. lobster. Exactly, and a little foam action. We want to keep it simple and sweet and sexy. All of the components are there for it to be a successful dish. I love you, lobster. Goodbye. As Justin and Brian yeah. work together to design the blue team's appetizer, on the red team, Dana. Christina, come over here. Takes over. Steam the lobster. Yes, chef. This is my appetizer. This represents me, so I'm making sure that it's done properly. You gotta crack this claw, because we're taking out of the claw meat, right? Um, let's try to, can we get one claw out, like, nice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you do it or no? I think I can. Dana is just a perfectionist at heart. I appreciate it, but just let me do this, you know? Here, let's put some of this back, because we just need a little, little bit. If Christina messes something up on the dish, that's going to be a reflection of me, too, because we're working together as a team. And I need to prove to Chef Ramsay why I should be here. While Dana is in charge of the appetizer, in the blue kitchen, Clemenza... Yo, wait, 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 check this out. I have an idea. ...collaborates with Royce and Guy on the fish entree. The sauce. Let me do, like, a puttanesca. Like a traditional puttanesca. I like that. Yeah, but I want to go outside the box with some clams, some mussels. My father has spoon fed me puttanesca since I'm a little baby. So, I mean, I see the fresh tomatoes, I, I see some capers, some olives, the grilled swordfish. It, you know, it's just, it pops two seconds. I had that whole dish composed in my head in two seconds. Let's do a little broccolini. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Broccoli. Yeah, that'll okay. give us a nice color on the plate. For the most part, Royce is all talking smoking mirrors. When he said broccolini, I'm like, 
wait a minute, that all fucking works perfect. We just came up with something without fighting and arguing. Gotta give it to him. Royce made a pretty good call. I got three colored potatoes. Broccolini and potatoes, yes. I'm starting on the potatoes, yes. I'm putting them up. Why don't you work on fucking seasoning the fish? I'll start rocking out a sauce. With Clemenza, Royce, and Guy in sync on their swordfish, in the red kitchen, Robin and Kimmy. You're gonna go swordfish, Robin? Swordfish is like a tuna, and I don't really like cooking with that. That's what he said he liked. Aren't exactly seeing eye to eye. Sometimes I get quiet and I just let people, you know, run all over me. That's the downfall I have. I would do the sea bass. While Robin dictates the design of the fish dish, Tiffany. All right, what are we gonna do with this squab? I don't wanna grill it. Is in control of the poultry. Let's do eggplant. That's very Mediterranean. And we'll do some eggplant fries. I don't wanna work with Tiffany, but I'm keeping my mouth shut because I don't wanna cause any more waves. Put the wonder in with this. Okay. Think fashion, think food, think trends. We need to put some kind of seasoning on there. Or, I don't know. I wouldn't. I usually season with salt and pepper, let all the natural flavors come out. Salt and pepper is not real spice. I'm talking cayenne, smoked paprika. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Kimmy, what? Keep it simple. Five minutes in the window. With the clock running down, the blue team is nervous about one guy. Cook, bitches. How are your potatoes looking? I mean, they're cooking. Gotta give it a little bit of time, but they will work. Guy, he's going to the last minute possible. So uh, I'm a little concerned. Just make sure they're cooked, baby. Yeah, of course. If they're not, take them out, cut them down, break them down. Just watch that fish. I got the fish. Thank Don't you. Worry about the fish. One minute, guys. Let's go. Aye. Where's your potatoes? Are they coming ready? Coming up. It's coming up. They need to be ready. Yeah, I'm going to make sure. Guy was having a little trouble with the potatoes. I think that's ridiculous because they're like so simple and easy. 20 seconds to go. Come on. You got to put it on the plate. On the plate. Come on, man. Where's your potatoes? Are they ready? They need to be ready. If you get any kind of fucking restaurant experience, put out a fucking thing of potatoes. Five, four, let's go. Three, two, one, and serve, guys. Whew, just fucking made it, man. Have we created something cutting edge? Yes, chef. Gurs, appetizers, let's go. Mine and Justin's dish is damn sexy, OK? That is pure sex on a plate. Justin, please present your dish. We did a seasonal bean salad, and we put a little lobster in there. And there's also a vanilla and fennel foam right there. This is not very visually appealing. No. no? And uh, the foam the is foam something is... that I don't think no. not appetizing. I can handle, <laughs> yeah, It looks like it's so regurgitated to take vomit on the plate. No. I have never done foam in my life. I don't like foam, never have, never will. It needs to be intriguing to the eye and yeah. to the person to want to taste it. And it's yeah. really not. It's, a, it's all over the place. I don't understand what the big deal is about foam. I mean, I, I, have they ever been to dinner before? It's not like one unified thought, like a design. And I don't think it looks elegant or sophisticated. It just looks ordinary. It's a lot of food for an appetizer, I feel. Let's dig in. It may taste better than it looks. I think the foam is a little sweet. Was it supposed to be that sweet? We wanted to bring out the sweetness of the lobster and then cut it with the acid of the bean salad. I feel like this is a little bland. There's no kick, there's no spice, no. there's nothing special going on. I emphasized spices and I Just, emphasized that. Yes. And I'm not getting the wow from this. Yeah. This is not good. These judges are some hardcore judges. I'm scared for the red team at this point. Right, Dana, what is that, please? Here we have a chilled mango broth and jumbo lump crab meat. Visually, is a little clumsy. Mm -hmm. I was expecting something a little more chic, sleek, elegant. It's not really the most appealing color. The, uh, the mango wasn't quite as ripe as we hoped. There's no fat in there except for a tiny bit of olive oil. The taste is interesting. You do get that little after hint of spice, which I think is nice. Thank you. David, uh, red or blue, please? Um, red. Amanda, red or blue, please? I'd have to agree on red. Wow. Thank Ina, you. Red or blue, please? Red. Wow, congratulations. I don't care what the hell those three knobs say. It was a nice dish. It was a very nice dish. Dana, well thought out. Thank really you, well chef. thought out. Uh huh. That's what's up. Okay, next course poultry. Let's go. Dome's off, please. I love mine and Roshi's dish. My plan is to, is to wow them. So this afternoon, we've prepared for you a uh, Moroccan spice-influenced squab. There's a touch of vinegar in there as well. I believe vinegar helps to thin the mucus. Thin the what? Oh my god, Patrick. It thins the mucus. I've never heard mucus in the description of food. We're trying to turn them on, not turn them off. Ah, oh, that was the dumbest thing I've ever said. 
I love vinegar. I put a touch of vinegar on anything. Sorry for that one. I think with the sauce, if you're going to do a sauce, it can't be like blob-like, because that, to me, says non-sophistication. Let's dig in. How does it taste? Mm. It's interesting. Mm. It's interesting, but it, there's no kick in it. I love kale, mm -hmm. so that's huge for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's a heavy portion. It's weighted. It is clumsily. Who worked on this dish with you? Uh, Roshni. I like it. I don't love it. Clearly, I'm not that fashionable. <laughs> but listening to their comments will make me look at a plate differently from now on. Stephanie, explain the dish. Thank you. What I have here is a pan roasted squab. There's eggplant puree. Um, I have an eggplant fry. Fried? Yes. Deep fat fried? Uh, yes. Fried food is a big no-no. Fried? Fr fr like, Tiffany, were you in the bathroom when they were explaining that they wanted everything to be super healthy? Because, you know, healthy and deep fried don't really go together. Well, here's the thing with fried eggplant with me. I'm a big dude and I'm Italian. Fried, great. Eggplant, even better. But is it the right thing to do for some pretentious fashion people? No. I don't think this looks really, again, chic or clean or sophisticated or modern. No, I don't think the fashion crowd are coming with bibs. No. Exactly. No. Jump in, please. Okay. Um, watch out for the fried eggplant. That is delicious. The pomegranate salad is actually nice. nice. This is too much, too greasy. Whose idea was to do fried eggplant? That was me, Chef. Do you want to eat a fried eggplant and then jump into a, you know, a swimsuit? Uh, no, Chef. No, no, come on. We fucked up. Deep fat fried and models don't mix. But I know now. If you had to choose between the red team and the blue team, David, red or blue, please? Blue. Blue. Thank you, Amanda. Blue as well. Ina, red or blue, please? Blue it is. There we go, blue it is. Good job. We got a tie. I'm psyched right now. We got a shot to actually win this. Blue team's pumped right now. We're ready to go, man. With the score tied. Seafood, let's go. It all comes down to Guy, Clemenza, and Royce's swordfish versus Robin and Kimmy's sea bass. I'm not sure about this dish. The judges wanted spice, and she didn't listen to me. Dome's off. Well, Guy, present the dish. Thank you. We have a uh, swordfish, puttanesca, seasoned with chili, paprika, and saffron. What we wanted to do is bring the spiciness of Spain and Italy. And I know this is two countries that produce a lot of fashion. I have a very personal connection with uh, Italy and Spain. You know, gave me the eyes. <laughs> As soon as I see that connection, oh, Italy is my favorite. Uh, yeah, OK, OK. I know what's your favorite. You're not fooling me. I'm going to surrender to this one. It's not new to me. Most women surrender. Well, I really do love the mussels and clams. Being a swimmer designer, I think that will resonate with a lot of our guests. Please dig in. Mm, delicious. Mm, thank you. Mm. Thank you. I think you just need to really refine mm -hmm. and simplify and edit that presentation. And the sauce on the bottom, I would leave that out. It doesn't sound like they love it, but all that matters is my girl, Ina. Next, Robin, present the dish. Thank you. We did a seared sea bass with uh, grapes, uh, sprouts, as well as micro basil. I'm drawn to it because of the pink and green at the bottom. It just needs to be sharper and more precise. Thank you. Dig in, please. I do think the grape is interesting. I like that. Mm -hmm. The vinegar is overwhelming. Quite bland. What about spices? What about zesty? What about pungent? What about kick? Who the fuck do you think you are? You ladies, come back here and try to cook in your damn stiletto heels. So if you have to choose. Blue. Amanda, red or blue, please? Red. Wow. David, red or blue, please? Blue, all the way. Yeah! Great job. Well, Robin, we asked for something spicy. I told her three times, we need to add spice, we need to add spice, we need to add spice. And it was like she didn't want to listen. I'm sure you're all going to join me in thanking our esteemed judges. Thank That's you. Amanda, thank I you. fucking hate them. I hate them all. All of them. Best wishes. I'm going to piss off of you. Talk to me. I just want to talk to you. Can you 
Kimmy is definitely taking it hard, you know, and I feel like she's blaming on me. Like, if she wanted to use a little bit more bold flavors, then she should have spoke up a little bit more. Blue team, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> You're in for a great day, let me tell you that. I've got a couple of grand for you to spend in a boutique in Malibu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's great to be a winner! Woo! You're all going to get amazing new outfits. Cool. Then you're going to spend the rest of the afternoon wine tasting in the beautiful hills of Malibu. Thank you. Are you fucking kidding me? I wanted that. God damn it. Get upstairs, get changed. Malibu awaits. Thank you, chef. Are you all right? Crying up tears of joy? Yeah, I'm so happy. I'm really, really happy. Blue team needed this. We really needed this. Kimmy and Robin, you heard them. Spice! I said spice. She didn't want to use it. You need to put your own input on there. Don't get bullied by Robin. Trust your instincts. When you believe in something that you want it spicy, take the risk. I'm pissed off, and I really don't want to talk right now. Like, for real, I do not want to speak to anybody. Ladies, unfortunately, you have a lot of work to do today. First of all, you'll be transforming this entire restaurant into something chic and stunning ahead of our first ever fashion night. You'll be hand building a runway, making centerpieces. You're going to be under the guidance of a top fashion producer that should be arriving shortly. Let's go. Punishment sucks. I'm tired of fucking going out like a loser. Yeah. Have a wonderful time shopping, bitch. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. We're just going on a shopping spree in a Malibu. Have fun being girls. Life is good on the blue team right now, and not so much on the red team. They get to spend thousands of dollars on clothes that they probably don't need. I need new clothes. <laughs> I want to go shopping. Let's go, baby. Buongiorno. Oh, this is it right here. This here is it. Welcome. Hi, Elena. Gonna be your personal hey, shopper you today. Hey, you Congratulations hey. on a win. Oh, my God. Dress me forever. OK. <laughs> my heart skipped a beat. She's attractive. So we're going to get you guys dressed. Very, very, very attractive. Oh. Okay. I already, I already you want to go with that? I like having a personal shopper. This shirt's bad. I just do. I like that one. I'd love shopping to begin with for myself, but when it's not my money, it's even better. Hey, Elena. Do you like what's happening here? I love what's happening here. Do you enjoy right what's now. happening here? Yeah. I know there's something special between us. I know there's something special. Match your eyes. Oh, you like this? You don't find me sexy with my tight clothes! Oh, Look at you. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm wearing $800 worth of product on my body. I feel like royalty. I broke out of my shell. Nice job. Good. While the blue team sets off on part two of their reward, the red team faces a day of hard work. Let's hustle, hustle, hustle. Supervised by the event planner for the Hell's Kitchen fashion show. We're under a time constraint. I know that a good amount of my teammates aren't really down for the physical labor. Can you help me? When I see the pieces of the runway that we have to move in, my heart just kind of drops. I'm going to be doing a good amount of the brunt work. Dana, carry from the, Chris, carry from the bottom. I got it. Lifting one of these things is like carrying Clemenza up the freaking stairs. So like, I'm already starting to feel it in my back. On to the next piece, we have to hustle. Could two other people do something else with you? Somebody can do the wrenches, and the rest of you can go out and get the platform. OK. Instead of doing one task at a time, we can multiple tasks. You know what I'm saying? Kimmy, let's sit here and touch this shit together. Fucking ridiculous. Let's take the four smallest people out to get the next piece. Robin volunteers to stay back and screw in the runway. Who's with me? Oh, fuck, no way. I'm going to go help them. You ready? One, two, four, now. OK. Um, nope. My forearm is fucking killing me. Ladies, let's put a oh, move on. Oh. Christina. Yes? We don't know where this tea wrench is connect, how to connect it. Christina, help me where a tea wrench might go in and uh, turn it, because. Oh, crap. Robin is apparently a jack of all trades, but a master of none. Way to be a team player, Robin. You selfish bitch. There we go. You want to play screwdriver? Have fun at it. On time for this shit. <laughs> oh, everybody was so excited to put the stage together. It's fun, isn't it? Dude, are you fucking serious? Come on, man. Help me out. 
Christina is scary when she's mad. She needs to just relax. Oh, you right? Fuck. They're fucking smack my tooth. I'm sweating all the way down my back. Like, it's pouring off my face, and I'm getting frustrated. I'm just realizing this is going to take forever. And Carry it like this. Whoa, you got to let me know when you're doing it, dude. Let's get the next one in. Uh -oh. Keep it moving. I'm losing it. This is getting to be really ridiculous. All right, Christina. I'm fucking, fuck that. Somebody else tell it. Christina, where are you going? Christina is kind of pissed off, and I need her to stay strong. So I think we all need to blow off some steam. Let's go! Let's go get a new stair. Yes! All right, let's see it. Yeah! Let's do it. God, come on, Kimmy. Work, come on, work, girl. Work. Let's go get a new stair. Oh my God. <laughs> Just seeing this, it's hard to be upset. This is about as close to fashion as you guys are gonna get. While the women are miles away from the high life, the blue team enjoys a taste of luxury. Hi everybody, come on in. At Rosenthal Estate in Malibu. Fantastic. This is perfect. We got bottles of wine, as flat as a food, as sweet as that I'll beck and call. It doesn't get much better than that. We're pouring three wines for you right now. You know, I lived in Napa for a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's some great bright notes right up front, right in the palate. You've got touch of a green apple, good minerality, decent amount of pineapple, but not over the top. Love the touch of acidity on my finish here. Patrick, he's an oil. all You don't find any 100% or so, it's 85% and, and, and under. What is he talking about right now? We're just trying to enjoy ourselves. It's just wine, bro. Thank you, Neil. Nice. This is fun. This is fun. Let me have that cheese. Let me have that prosciutto. I'm half baked. <laughs> Everything that you could possibly think of was beautiful. It felt really, really nice to be out of the kitchen for one day. Since we've been nothing but losing, I'm full of love. Here's a genuine hug from me to the entire world. I'm hugging you. Cheers. Salud. 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 I just totally ripped ass. I've got some gifts today. Dude. <laughs> How fucking gross is that? Good job, burpees. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany is fucking disgusting. Fucking reeks Dropping over here. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> She's farting over here. <laughs> Savages. Somebody's gonna love me for who I am. I'm three feet too short to be a model, and I walked a runway. I'm on cloud nine, I'm on cloud 10, I'm on cloud 11. I, I mean, I felt like an Indian princess today. Oh, I'm coming. This day really fucking sucks. Like, I really wish we would have won. <laughs> Bitch, I'm still fucking pissed. I don't even want to look at Robin, she makes me sick. So I'm trying to put this nasty bitch in the back of my head. I'm annoyed that she blamed it all on me. Kimmy got pissed off and she told Chef Ramsay, I said no to everything and I'm like, I didn't say no to everything. That's what I'm pissed off about. Somebody as big as Kimmy should be able to stand up for herself. I think the people on the red team don't respect her and we have good reason. I didn't call her out up there. Right. I didn't say that. You're gonna fucking call me out like that? That shows your character now. Kimmy never takes fault for anything. I've been nothing but helping this girl out since the fucking beginning. We will not make any progress with her. The only thing that we're gonna do is put ourselves even further behind. Kimmy's usefulness is running thin with the red team. I can't push someone who doesn't want to be pushed. Nobody's really talking about the fact that I fried the fucking eggplant, so thank God for that. Somehow she just keeps fucking skating by. I don't give a fuck how tall you are, how big you are. Do not step up to me like that. Leave me the fuck alone. It's ridiculous. We need to fucking talk about it. Red team is breaking down from the inside out, and it is it is not good. Even the two that were ride or die with each other are not even in the same room. I got crazy bitches on my team. After a day of hard work for the women and hard play for the men, both teams get to bed early. But one chef is feeling the pressure, so he gets up early. Oh, people, wake up! And decides he shouldn't be the only one. It's my dish on the menu. I'm not going to waste time. Shit's going to get done. It's time to start your day. 
If I gotta crack the whip on some people, I'm fucking doing it. Everybody get the fuck up, wake up! Shut up, Clemenza! Get your ass back in the bed. Get up, get up, get up! Clemenza shouting. Go, people! Shouting, shouting, shouting. I'm fucking ready to well, go. Fucking wonderful. As the chefs get their day started, Preparations are beginning for tonight's fashion show. Are the models all done with hair and makeup? Please finish up. And with a brand new menu, the kitchens definitely have their work cut out for them. We're gonna do this. Who set up fish? I did. Just keep that organized. Where's that little bit of clam stock? Clam juice. What are you doing? You taking my station over now? Come Pretty on, much. come on, man. Clemenza. Take a breath for a fucking second. We're all a team. We're all in this together. Josh, when are you going to have some free time? Um, I don't know. The puntanesca is Clemenza's recipe, but it's not really a big deal. It's not like making a, a crazy thing, you know, just quick tomato sauce. Fucking peel of potatoes. This guy's making a fucking appetizer. Clemenza, don't fucking start yelling under your fucking breath, all right, I man? said, you're fucking peeling potatoes. This guy's over there chopping fucking up. That's what I said. I'm going to say to your fucking face, I will. Help me the fuck out, asshole. Fucking bitch about everything, man. While frustration mounts in the blue kitchen, over in the red kitchen, the fallout from yesterday's challenge is turning toxic. She lost it for us because she didn't listen to me. We need to put some kind of seasoning on there. Girl, I don't know. I wouldn't. Quite bland. What about Can spices? Spray. Drop it. I don't want to talk about this. Let's move on. But it's not dead yet. It's not dead yet. I'm not going to drop it. I want to fucking discuss it. And if you hide it from me, then that makes me wonder about your character. I didn't sabotage you. And I just, I never, those words never came out I of know. my mouth. But the, what the words. now you're putting words into my mouth. No, I'm not telling you that you said that. Kimmy doesn't want to admit to anything because she's fucking weak. Kimmy, don't talk to me right now. I'm done with Robin walking over me. <laughs> oh! I'm just so fucking mad that, I mean, if, if I could hit her, I would. Tonight, Hell's Kitchen is opening for its first ever fashion night. Ooh la la, gorgeous. And while the models are getting ready backstage, the red team is one chef short. Robin pushed me to the limit I never thought I would get to. This was a kick in the stomach, and at this point, she's kind of like my enemy. Let's go, ladies. Robin, I need to see a bit of... Excitement? A bit of consistency. Yes, Chef. Jimmy, when you screwed it for your team across the challenge, that's gone. But you've got to start nailing a little bit now. Yes, Chef. I'm going to screw my teammates, though. <laughs> Robin. Robin is just trying to be a little bitch. But you know, that's just how she is. So I'm going to have to put it aside and buckle down with the girls and get through dinner service. I mean, that's all we can do with Hell's Kitchen moments from opening. Line up, please. Chef Ramsey gathers the chefs for some last minute instructions. Tonight is our first ever Hell's Kitchen fashion night, and I want success. Yes, yes, chef. Chef. Listen carefully. The first catwalk takes place before we serve appetizers. Once we serve the appetizers, the next part of the show then starts. After that, we'll serve our entrees. Everybody understands? Yes, yes chef. chef! If there was ever a night that timing was absolutely critical, it is tonight. Because the finesse of those plates really need to look stunning, I would like one person from each team help plate. Red team, Kimmy, in the window with Andy and I. Yes, Chef. Blue team, Royce. Yes, Chef. Trust me, these are not easy customers tonight. Let me tell you that. Do not screw it up. Go on your sections. Let's go, guys. Yes, Let's chef. go. The biggest crucial moment so far is the timing of tonight. We got to get it right. Let's fucking do it. Cut the makeup now, please, and give me the girls dressed in order. Minutes before Hell's Kitchen opens for its first ever fashion night, the red team. Uh, ladies, once that last model has walked off the catwalk, bang, we go. Yes, chef. Is standing by, ready for action. Is everyone ready? Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen. Let's go. Clemenza on the fish station is waiting for no one. Stop. Clemenza, what are you doing? Scalp, chef. We're not even open yet. Why is he cooking the scallops? Oh, God, Clemenza. How many portions of scallops were wasted? Four. Clemenza, what the fuck are you doing? Clemenza, I'm fucking pissed off. Oh my God, someone's leaving right now. You ready to go home? No way, chef. Next time, 
on Hell's Kitchen. Ladies and gentlemen. Models take over the dining room. Hey, baby. That is sexy. Which leads to. How the fuck am I supposed to cook with that going on? Chaos in the blue kitchen. Stop. Fucking pants on fire. Fucking charring now. Look at what the fuck we're doing here. Are we just so out of control? I'm running out of time. And then, when one chef comes up short. I need two more beef, guys. Will the red team resort to sabotage? See if the men have any more meat. Two? Two. Will their questionable tactics spell disaster for the blue team? Clemenza, where's the beef? Clemenza's getting cranked. I'm watching Clemenza go down like a body in the East River. Get out! I am not panicking! It's high fashion. Fuck off! High stakes. It's a bad day, ladies. How fucking dare you? Get it fucking right, Miss Fucking Know It All. And high drama. Come on! You're not on our page. Put your hand on there. It's not even hot. We're making rookie mistakes at this point. And it's all coming your way next time on a very special edition of Hell's Kitchen. We just don't go to the blue kitchen and get what you want, you silly cow. Thank you.